I am back continuing the build of the T 2.3 E Truggy. And this episode, we are going to be building turnbuckles. And my extra favorite thing, we're using power tools. Oh, yeah. So looking at the table, um, this is bag three, um, not much contents when you compare to bags one and two, um, just building the turnbuckles and I actually have one of them already in the drill. So there's actually one more, um, but we're going to build these turnbuckle links and I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, I really, before I used this method, I really hated building turnbuckles because it's super hard to get them started a lot of times. And then when you get them started, they're crooked. Um, and so this method I found, it just works way better to align them and get them started. And then also it helps have them move freely after you get them built. So I'm going to quickly cut all these off the tree. Again, I like using an X-Acto knife versus breaking them off. Just makes smoother cuts. We'll get those all off the tree. All right. There we go. Looks like we got pretty smooth cuts. Yep, everything looks good. How about these ones? Clean these up. We're definitely the breaking off variety. Get rid of that. All right, so is what I do is I chuck one of the turnbuckles in the drill, and you can just put your finger and move the drill and make sure you're going the right way so it's tightening, which is the right way. And then, you know, these, the other trick with this is these are not symmetric links they're different and so you got to lay these out so you get them right and get the threads in the right direction and so i like my turnbuckles when you rotate backwards for them to tighten which is would be in this order so on these they have a beveled edge here and a um, a ridge a non-beveled edge here um, and so you want to make sure those are all oriented the same way. So when you're turning the turnbuckle, it tightens and loosens. Um, and so we're going to be doing the back link first. And these look the same. So, you know, I believe they go like this. And so then... This one would be over here and here. And so the first one I want to do in this, I think, is this one right here. So we'll, we will do that one. All right, so is what I do to do this is I stick this turnbuckle through my hex wrench here. And I hold it on the turnbuckle and then I just kind of blip it and get it started and then so I'm going to hold it this way I'll rotate it like that and you can kind of see that it's wobbling a little and so you figure out where it's not aligned and then you can kind of just massage it into alignment and now you can see it's pretty good Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, this needs to be just a little tighter. So we're gonna go just a little more. And then I'm gonna 
Yeah, that's pretty good. So then once you get it on there straight, then you can, I just work this thing all the way down, all the way back out, all the way down, all the way back out. And it's critical to feel these things and make sure they don't get too hot. So now we're going to do one of these on that thread and then one of these on that thread. So let's do this one. Oh, I got to turn it the other way. And that is definitely wobbling. Just kind of move it into alignment. It's pretty good, but still not perfect. I think it could use a little more on here. So let's blip it a little more there. I'd say that's pretty darn good. So now let's put that one on. All right, so now we got that one done. Then is what we're gonna do. It's, the heat's still not too bad. So then is what we do is we're gonna flip this around because the other this other side the threads are reverse threaded. So now you can see before this the drill I was unscrewing and now it's screwing again. So let's put this one on. go. That one is way off. Let's align it. It's pretty good. All right. I think we got it aligned. So let's on. finish with this final one here. pretty good. One thing too, try not to like go full torque on the drill until it tightens up on this because you can sometimes crack I mean, these eight scale ones are pretty beefy, but if you're doing 10 scale, you can sometimes crack the ball joints. So just be aware of that. All right, so now we got these all built. I'm just gonna do one now. So you guys, you'll get the point. So the next thing I do is uh, stick this back in here.
All right, so it appears this AE uses a 5.5 millimeter turnbuckle wrench, and I cannot find mine. I thought I had one, but I can't find it, so I'm using a crescent wrench for this. I'm just gonna crank this thing on now. I like to take this pretty close to the threads so I can get the other one to line up similarly. You do the same thing, you just hold it here with your hopefully a turnbuckle wrench and try to have the same amount of threads showing when you end. And if this gets really hard, you can use your hex driver to help you out. Looks like we're about there. We're about even. So there's that one. All right, so this longer one, you can see here it's longer than this one. Um, you can also tell it apart because this one has a hex for this wrench to go into and tighten it. And so is what you want, this one, Remember, I want to go backwards to tighten, which is that direction. And so this, you want to point towards you in that orientation. So pop that in, kind of tweak this a little bit to get it to go in. And there we go. So we got that one built. And so you're going to do the same thing. Actually, this one we'll put in too. This one doesn't matter. It's, to me, it looks like it's essentially the same orientation. So let's pop this one in. There we go. So we'll do the same thing with this one, and we'll do these ones as well. You know, these ones you're going to do the same type of orientation. So this one goes on the outside and these go on the inside like so. And so you, you just line them up on the table before you actually do the drill work on them so you don't mess them up. All right, so we got all the turnbuckles done. Um, you know, this one I noted on 10th scale, you know, be careful. It takes a smaller hex wrench and just be careful when you go back and forth because you can crack this cup on these smaller ones. And then this one takes the smaller turnbuckle wrench too. Um, if you have one for an RC-10, then you'll be set. It's the same as that. Finally, I'm not gonna put, these are also handed. So one side has a hex head to screw these in and the other side has threads. And I always mess these up and put them in the wrong, either orientation of this piece or which way they go. And so I find it easier just to wait until you're ready to install them on the car and pop these in the right spots. Once you have the car in front of you, it's much less easier to not make a mistake. And then finally, the directions give you measurements that you measure from the end of the cup to the end of the cup. So right here to here. And I like to do those measurements when, the, when I actually mount these on the car so I can just have the screws all hold them in place and I just use the turnbuckle wrench to adjust. So I will make all the proper measurements that are in the manual once I put these on the car. So I hope this uh, video helps you build easier turnbuckles. I know I used to hate doing them and now it's like one of the easiest tasks so I um, hope this helps you, and if uh, you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.